Hello and welcome guys, I'm Excessive Brutality, this is Excessive Gamer and bringing you a first of a new Let's Play series for Planet Coaster. Really excited about this guys, I've had uh, this one on my radar for a long time and uh, we are here in the beta phase at the moment, the game's released in a couple of weeks and um, yep, the game's not completely finished, I know they've just patched it and I've just installed a new update on it so um, let's get cracking. We are going to go in career mode and we're going to try Princess Amelie's fairy tale. And uh, no, I want to start the new scenario. Okay, guys, so um, I'm not very, very uh, accustomed to playing these kind of games. I used to play a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day, back in the day. Look at the balding back in battery. Back in the day makes me sound so fucking old. A monolith beta. A strange object found in the desert appears to have exerted an expected effect on the park's rides. Everything keeps breaking down and we're running out of cash. Hire some mechanics, utilize work rosters and fix and maintain the rides, combat the monolith's power and get the buck back in profit. So let's do that and uh, I know from another tutorial I want to set the lighting to be at, let's say, maybe, uh, maybe noon, maybe 12, no not 12 a.m. p.m. There, just set it there so it stays like that because it's much easier to build I think. Okay guys, the objective's easy. Reach a monthly profit of 2,000 to build 4 rides. Medium, reach a monthly profit of 4,000. 4, build a coaster with these statistics. 5 excitement, 4 fear, 6 nausea, and 750 meters long at least. Hard reach 6,000 pounds a month or dollars and attracts 1,200 guests. Pay off all fucking loans. And if I'm not mistaken, this loan is 27,000 pounds. Dollars! Fuck! Dollars, not pounds. Alright guys, so this is a park entrance right here. Um, it's free at the moment because the whole idea is that everything is broken in this park so we need to kind of fix it before we can start judging people so what I'm gonna do is uh, park management uh, where is it stuff and uh, mechanic I'm gonna put one over here yeah and we're going to get another one and we're gonna hire a second one and fix this right down here can I put him there okay but I remember when I just played this one before and I realized that this ride was working for free oh it wasn't for free not this one one of them is for free so I'm gonna put this ride at uh, 15 15 dollars per ride because we had a queue all the way but to the back with that ride at that price so and this one as well I'm gonna push it up to another 15 dollars I know it seems like a lot but uh, people just can't get enough all right, so that's the two rides in the park. That's it. That's all there is. Two rides in this park. Of course, nobody wanted to go in the park. All right, so we need to build more rides for sure, and we need to build them fast. Now the entrance is there, so people are gonna find. People are gonna hit rides straight away. Do I want them lingering around here? Maybe we can have a baby. Some baby rides here. So we can have one baby ride there. Maybe yeah, can have one there. And let's build a park entrance over here and then the park exit over there. Now the entrance needs to be connected. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's rotate. It's always good to give a little bit of, of space so that people can actually... Uh, people can actually walk... Oh, sorry, people can actually queue up. You want people to queue up. So seven pounds. Seven dollars. Fuck! I gotta stop saying pounds. All right, seven fifty right there. Maybe a shop right here would be nice. Spill the shop. It's all quite intuitive. It's quite simple. Um, so we are gonna build a small castle shop right here. Where was that built? There's a castle shop right there, and maybe uh, there's always toilets at the beginning of a uh, hat shop. Why not? Why the hell not build a hat shop? Why shouldn't we build a hat shop? Right there. Hats. Everybody wants a hat. Now, um, I'm going to go and build a drink shop. Right here. These ones, I mean, fuck if I go to a park and there's not a drink shop inside, I die. And I love theme parks, guys. I am a fan some drinks there and uh, maybe an ATM oh well, there's no ATMs yet so um, toilets 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 always toilets at an entrance to a park 
I think every pretty much every park has a toilet by the entrance. So we want to build it as close to that one as I can. There we go. So we got a couple of things happening there. We got a little ride for the kids. We're going to build another ride next to it. Something simple. Can I build that there though? And maybe an entrance uh, over this side and exit just straight onto the path. So let's connect the entrance up. Like I said, guys, this is quite intuitive. It's quite simple. Uh, it doesn't take an expert to to figure all this out. Open the ride. Is that one now open? I don't even know if this one is actually open. All right. So open that ride there so people can actually go in there now. Are the shops actually open? I don't know whether they are. Yes, they are. Okay. So this one is now open as well. Change the price as well to $7.50. Alright, so people are starting to use those rides there now. Alright, so what else are they going to encounter? So they're coming up around here. We can build some more shops here. So this is all just about organizing yourself, making sure you have a bit of everything. I mean, I'm trying to stick to the, to conform to the actual parks look, you know. It's supposed to be a fairy tale land, so we want to kind of make everything fairy tale-y. You know what I mean? So we got a shop. We got some shops there. Maybe a drink. Maybe a drink shop as well. Unless that's already the one. That, no, I haven't put that one in there yet. So that that can go there. And uh, toilets for sure. Toilets down here. Right there. And maybe we can build um, some burger. No, I've already got that. A gift shop. Caribbean? No. Castle shop. Right there. And hats. Why not? Let's get some hats. There we go. Alright. Now, all the rides are working. We haven't got enough people in there yet. We're going to get all the people in the park and then we're going to bring the prices up. I think the park, uh, the park entry fee at the moment is free. <laughs> Don't, that's how they start on this one. I can build a coaster here, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Apparently, I'm supposed to be building a coaster in this park, but let's see. Blueprints. Can I build a coaster? I can't build a coaster, so I don't understand. Unless it's not available yet. I can build rides. I mean, I can build that there. Um, can I build it? Uh, I don't think I can. It's a bit big for this, maybe. Yeah, that one's not going to work. Maybe that one. Oh, it's not about that. It's about the cash. Okay. Maybe we should make a bit more money before we start doing this. All right. So right now I've got kind of the amenities. I've got, I've got stuff happening. Maybe I'll put a toilet here or something. At the park. Okay. Maybe I can put a shop. Maybe a castle shop here. Uh, maybe there. Wait a minute. Let's get round. Let's get round. And let's turn this over a bit. Uh, maybe that. All right. Oh, wait, it says hats fantastic. I haven't built a hat shop. I'm gonna build a toilet here. I can't even afford a toilet. I haven't got 600 fucking pounds. All right, guys. I think it's about time we figure out how much the people are paying to get in the park. Um, how do I know how many people are in the park at the moment? 603 people. Adult group, teen groups, and family group guests. Total number of guests. Ride rating, scenario rating. I don't know the ratings are are uh, out of what. So I'm making a bit of money now, very slowly. See the park ticket. See if I can figure out finances. Um, where overview maybe ticket. There we go. Oh, people are coming in for free. Fuck that shit. Nobody's coming in for free now. So my park entry fee will be twenty five dollars. Families will be fifty. And priority pass information booths are required to sell priority pass. So I'm actually charging now to get in the park, which is what I should have done from the beginning. Now we just need to get some money sorted out. And once we get some money, what we'll do is we'll start maybe creating some of the bigger rides. It's quite empty around this part of the side of the park. Now, how do you get down here? Oh, you have to go through this area here. 
to get down here. We can build a couple of rides here, but really we want to keep everything in the same area. There's a there's no big rides on this side, so at the moment I don't need to bring anybody down this way. We can just carry on building. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm not sure what this is. What is that? Building statistics. Total objects. This item is locked. Ah, must be something to do with the... Oh, these are the monoliths. <laughs> okay, I see what that is. Okay, that's the monolith. Alright, so look how many people are coming in the park. Now we've got a thousand dollars now. Maybe we can build... Maybe we can build a ride now. Should try to build a ride. I'm not quite sure if we have enough yet. Um, to build that one. 2,000 for that one. And 1,600. We could be... We're close to building this one. <coughs> More rides available research. Start researching. What does it cost to research? Current research spend zero. So start research. Roller coasters. And how much do we want to spend? Say a thousand a month. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And start research. Maybe. Should we try a thrill ride? Do we want to go 1,000 a month? Damn, that's expensive. Should we go 500? Oh, wow. Okay. I think we can cut it. I think we can cut it. I need more money. Why is the money not coming in? Come on, man. Look at all those people. And they're not paying to get in or what? <laughs> Look at this ride. This ride is fucking full to the brim. Now, this one's full. How is this queue? This one has not even got a queue. I wonder if people are getting in this one or are they just walking by it? It's just too expensive. Maybe it's too expensive. So let's lower the price down to 12. We want rides filled. If I see that people aren't going in, I'm going to... People are starting to walk in at 12. So I'm leaving at 12. Now, this one over here. I put this price up quite high. And this one seems to have quite a queue on it. So that's up 15. Maybe I'll put it down a one more and see if we can fill this up. It's important to fill the, the rides up, um, otherwise we don't have rides full, there's uh, no money coming in. I can't build another ride, I think this one was, no, that one was 1,600. What is this? Okay, guys, we have reached one of our first our objectives. We have uh, most popular attraction, Whirly Rig. <laughs> Shit, Park Cash 1,200. That's not great though. Alright, so we can not build yet, can we? So let's see my rides again. Insanity, it's 2,000. This one's 1,600. We are just about available. We're just about there. We can actually build this now, can we? Yes, we can, guys. We're going to build this like a motherfucker right now. Alright, so we need park entrance, which is going to be on this side. And we need a park exit, which is going to be on that side. Now we need to connect the exit. And we're going to be able to afford. Exit and exit. Actually, these exits are really cheap. <laughs> I want to build this really big queue here because I really want people to be able to queue up for this. Because I'm going to make this a cheap ride. Not cheap, but uh, definitely not going to be super expensive. We're going to put this one at maybe 14 as well it's open perfect now I haven't showed you but we can actually uh, we can actually go on the rides as well so let me maybe check maybe this one here all right let me I'm, I'm actually in build the mode at the moment guys so look at that ride the people on there is ridiculous I'm gonna have to put this one up I'm gonna put it up to 17 and we're gonna ride this one <laughs> we want a seat. Do we want a seat or we want an interest? All right. <laughs> I love these views. These views are awesome. Look at that. <coughs> this is why I like this game. You can actually go on the rides. You can build a roller coaster and actually, actually ride it yourself. But this is always amazing, man. So we're gonna check this out. You, I mean, this is a this is a fixed guest facing ride uh, view and it kind of follows it but you can still kind of pan around it anyway which is a really nice feature you know oh my god yeah let's see if we can get a 
Look at that fucking ride. That does look really cool though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that ride was... If there was a park with that ride, I would definitely, definitely want to be on that. That looks awesome. Perfect. Alright guys. Let's get out of this one. I can see why that one's more expensive. The way that one's uh, so popular. But I'm going to put the price up. I mean, people keep just keep queuing up on it. Until I see that the queue is empty, I'm not going to bother with, uh, with lowering that price. So this one here is also starting to accumulate quite a lot of people. So I'm going to bring that up to 14 maybe. And if people don't like it, they can fuck right off. It's my park. Now, our money is still not doing great. Not doing great at all. I want to see what happens when people actually leave these rides. But, uh, well, it's coming up. I think may may have just uh, played alone. What's this? Notifications. Guess think Psychola is too expensive. Is it? Okay. Let's put it down to 12. There is a lot of litter in the park. The park entrance is not accessible from the exit of Wild Blue 2. The park entrance is not accessible from the exit. Okay, I see what I see what they mean there. So I need to build a path. That's done. Psychola has been fixed. Cube, there is a lot of lid in the park. So that just means we need to get some stuff. So we'll go back down to park management and we'll hire um, some janitors. Just start at one there. Maybe uh, I'm gonna hire about probably three janitors. And um, so maybe around here where there's a lot of shops. And maybe around here as well. Okay, so another janitor around this area here. Okay. I think it's pretty good. Alright, so we crack on. So maybe we could... I'm researching the rides. I wonder where the research... Uh section is I can't see it down here maybe park management uh, attractions and shops no Whirly rig is proving to be very very good as far as uh, making money it's one of the best I don't know where the research here we go research average guest happiness is declining why is it declining motherfuckers all right so we did put that to 500 a month and the crazy classic and the coal transporter so we've got a roller coaster working so that's pretty good now guests what's happening with the guests average guest needs happiness pretty good energy hunger so all that is pretty good so they're spending a lot of money on the rides like as expected most people are spending Family groups are spending more on food as expected as well. It's pretty cool, interesting. Gift shops are not proven very interesting at the moment. Okay, so we need to we need to spruce this up, man. We need no more excitement in this park. There is a lot of litter. I'm getting it sorted. Fucking shut up. That guy is there sweeping. Give him a break. He's getting there. Alright, so uh, I've got enough money for another ride. I wanted to put that one on as well. Now, where am I going to be able to fit this right now? Because this one looks a bit fucking huge. Have I got a space anywhere for it? It doesn't look like it's going to fit. Nope. Trying to figure out, see if I've got a spot somewhere. Do I want to bring people down here? I don't know if I want to, really. Now, this, why can't I just place it there? Insufficient funds? I thought this one was 2,600. Oh, okay, we are collect. We're still a bit short. We're about $300 short. It's not too bad. We'll get there. It just doesn't seem to be anything else that I haven't got already. What is this? We've got one of those, haven't we? Psychola. We've got a Psychola. We've got a Carousel. We've got, that one seems to be the most, in, most uh, popular one at the moment. So, uh... Yeah, we need to we need to make some more income for that. So let's see what happens. We can speed this game up as well um, by pressing over here. So maybe we speed it up. See if we can get some money coming in. The cube is broken down, so we need to send a mechanic straight away. 
This is a one. <laughs> this is a very important one. So request inspection straight away. And yeah, let's sort that one out. I wonder where the mechanic is, but uh, he's on his way. And that is one of my bigger mic. Uh, that's one of the rides that I think makes most money in the park. So I, I can already see that we're kind of we're kind of losing money now because that rides down. So that's that's the problem right now. We haven't got enough rides to uh, to um, be able to get through a, a breakdown like this. So at the moment, until that's fixed, we're just gonna keep losing money unless I uh, just uh, just hire another. I'm gonna hire another guy. I'm just gonna place him over here. Hopefully he goes straight in there. Come on, use your head and go into that ride. That there, where are you going, man? This needs an inspection. I need you to go there. Oh, that the guy's already out. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna get. Also, we're gonna hire another janitor because, just because. All right, the ride's fixed now. Uh, this is at 18. Potential money running at 800. It's making 184 only. So I'm gonna. I don't care. I want to bring this one up to 20. I know it's expensive. And this one's okay. Last month profit, nothing. So it's not making any profit at the moment. So I'm going to put it up to 18. Hopefully, people actually want to pay that. Quick word from my sponsors, guys. Uh, your number one online news source for gamers. Check them out at gaminglife.com, guys. Live the life with Gaming Life. That's it from this uh, Let's Play for me, guys. I'm Excessive Brutality. This is Excessive Gamer. If you're not playing Rock Hard, then you're playing at all, guys. This has been fun. I'm enjoying this so much so I'm forgetting to talk to you guys directly. Really getting into this game. I really think it's a good one. So thanks for joining me, guys. Till next time.